Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Dr. Abdullah, another proud and honored contributor to the African Diaspora News Channel, giving you educational news from a foundational black American man's perspective. If you like what you see, like what you're hearing, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Today, we're going to talk about Mississippi lawmakers' attempt to pass a bill to close the state's three and only three HBCUs. Let's roll that first clip. Students graduating from Mississippi high schools, one state senator wants to shut down three of the state's eight public universities. Because of a so-called enrollment clip, the schools will be competing to recruit a smaller number of students. We do not have enough appropriation right now to support eight universities. And with a uh, cliff, uh, a downward spiral of enrollment, it'll even be worse. According to the March 6, 2024 Essence article, Mississippi lawmakers proposed bill that could shut down the state's only public HBCUs. Three historically black colleges and universities in Mississippi could permanently close if state lawmakers pass a proposed Republican sponsored bill. According to the proposed specifics, Alcorn State University, Jackson State University and Mississippi Valley State University are among the schools that could be shuttered as part of the Mississippi Senate Bill 2726, which aims to shut down three of the state's eight public colleges and universities. Republican State Senator John Polk, who represents Mississippi's 44th District, drafted the sevens page proposal, but Mississippi institutions of higher education would make the decision on which universities would close. IHL officials would decide which universities to close by June 2025 based on enrollment, federal aid, tuition rates, degree programs, and local economic impact. Those schools will be mandated to shut down by the end of 2028. You know, every time I read something like this, it, you know, as much as it angers me, it doesn't surprise me because we know what them folks, as Brother Philip Scott also aptly applies that we know what them folks like to do whenever they think i mean they, we don't even actually have to have a leg up if they just believe we have a leg up that's all it takes and you know you're going to hear it every single time i'm here our institution should be run by us started by us run by us funded by us and maintained by us that is the only way we're going to maintain ourselves in this global system of white supremacy if you know like I know, please keep your head on a swivel, be mindful of all the things around you, and keep your education intact. Once again, this is Dr. Abdullah, another proud and honored contributor to the African Diaspora News Channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. What do you think? Is this just per usual for them folks, or is it something that could be greater for the state of Mississippi? I doubt it. But you tell me what you think. I'd love to hear it. Peace.